All right, in this video, we're going to go over two practice problems for absolute and apparent magnitude um, of stars and for the astrophysics unit. So the first problem tells us the star Pollux has an apparent magnitude of positive 1.2 and lies at a distance of 12 parsecs from Earth. And we're being asked to calculate its absolute magnitude. So we can start with the equation we're given in our data book. Apparent magnitude minus absolute magnitude. Remember that apparent magnitude is a lowercase m, absolute magnitude is an uppercase m, is equal to 5 log distance over 10. Okay, so I'm going to start by solving for absolute magnitude, uppercase m. So I'll start by subtracting apparent magnitude from both sides. All right, now I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 to get rid of this negative sign. Okay, now we just need to insert um, the information the problem gives us. So we're told that the distance of the star is 12 parsecs. It's important that when you do these type of problems that your unit of distance to the star is in parsecs. And our absolute, or our apparent magnitude of plus 1.2. So let's see, absolute magnitude equals negative 5 log of distance, which is 12 parsecs, divided by 10, plus our apparent magnitude of 1.2, we find that the absolute magnitude of this star, uh, Pollux, is 0 0.8. Oh, and that's positive. Alright, let's try another one. So in this problem, we're being asked to compare the the luminosity of two stars. Um, so the problem states that the star Sirius has an apparent magnitude of negative 1.46 and lies at a distance of 2.64 parsecs from Earth. And we're being asked to compare the luminosities of this star with the luminosity of our Sun, which has an absolute magnitude of 4.77. So remember that when we compare values of um, absolute magnitude, we can do it in luminosity. And when we compare values of apparent magnitude, we can do it in terms of brightness. Um, so we're being asked to use luminosity here by the problem. So what we need to do is first convert this apparent magnitude into an absolute magnitude, which we're going to be able to do very easily because not only do we have the apparent magnitude of the star, negative 1.46, but we also have its distance from Earth, 2.64. So we'll start by finding the absolute magnitude of this star's, um, of this star. So apparent magnitude minus absolute magnitude equals 5 log d over 10. Right? This is straight from the data book. Uh, we do some fancy math and we can solve for absolute magnitude. So we get negative 5 log d over 10 plus apparent magnitude. All right, we plug in our numbers and we solve for the absolute magnitude of the star. And we find, so absolute magnitude equals negative 5 log uh, d, uh, which is 2.64 parsecs, divided by 10 plus our absolute apparent magnitude which is 1.46 and we find the absolute magnitude of this star is 
1.43, which is positive. All right. So now we can solve for the we can solve an equation in order to find what this star's luminosity is compared to our sun. So I'm going to use this equation from the data book and the ma the apparent magnitude or the absolute magnitude of our star um, Sirius minus the absolute magnitude of the sun is equal to negative 2.5 times the log of the ratio of the luminosities. Okay, and so because we're being asked to compare these two things, I'm going to solve this for this ratio here, L2 over L1. Okay, so let's see, so I got M2 minus M1 divided by negative 2.5 and that's equal to the log of our ratio of luminosities. Okay, now I'm going to take both sides um, to the I'm going to take both sides to over 10 um, so 10 to the m2 minus m1 divided by negative 2.5 is equal to the ratio of our luminosities which is what we're trying to find and to taking it to the 10th power gets rid of that log so now I have to do a substitute, so 10 to the 1.43 minus M1, which the problem tells us is positive 4.77, divided by negative 2.5, gives us 21.7, which means that Sirius is 21.7 times more luminous than our sun. Alright, that's it.